Hello, I'm Richard Chambers, President and CEO of the Institute of Internal Auditors. For those of us who've spent our careers promoting good internal controls and risk management, the massive cyber attack, nicknamed hashtag WannaCry, could indeed bring tears of frustration. That's because the attack successfully exploited some of the most basic and easily mitigated cyber risks. It is unfathomable to me that such attacks continue to succeed, yet the global reach of WannaCry reflects just how vulnerable we remain. Clearly, it is no longer a matter of if, but when an organization will be hacked. Ironically, that message, which urges organizations to focus beyond prevention, may be enabling a weak cybersecurity culture. The 2017 Data Breach Investigations Report by Verizon reveals much work still must be done. For example, 80% of breaches leverage stolen or weak passwords. One in 14 users are tricked into clicking on a link or an attachment. If those statistics don't scare you, try these. 61% of data breach victims are businesses with fewer than 1,000 employees. Ransomware has soared from the 22nd most common form of malware in 2014 to number five this year. Providing assurance on cybersecurity involves more than just looking at whether protocols and policies are in place and are operating effectively. We must consider how the organization's culture influences how those protections are carried out. For example, an organization may accept higher risk behavior in email practices in exchange for higher productivity. Efforts to protect data through encryption may be undone if rules prohibiting or limiting hard copy versions of the data are not ignored. We must also be attuned to an organization's IT mystique, which accepts that only IT understands certain aspects of cybersecurity and therefore cannot be questioned. Part of the solution is for internal auditors to gain insight from those who manage cyber risks, including IT, chief risk officers, and chief information security officers. This is essential for internal audit to understand clearly what drives cyber risks and what influences the organization's cyber security culture. Internal audit must then share that insight with management and the board. I'll leave you with some takeaways from the Verizon report. First, be vigilant. Certain systems can give you an early warning of a breach. Second, make people your first line of defense. Third, only keep data on a need-to-know basis. Fourth, install a patch promptly. Fifth, encrypt sensitive data. Sixth, consider using two-factor authentication. And finally, don't forget physical security. Not all data theft happens online. Cybersecurity breaches are perfect examples of failures in multiple lines of defense. As internal audit professionals, we must roll up our sleeves and embrace the challenges. And that means we must want to audit. From the Institute of Internal Auditors, I'm Richard Chambers, President and CEO.